They arrived early on a Saturday morning, ready and focused on the mission. Welcome to the fifth annual Ride to Remember. More than 360 cyclists wearing matching blue shirts gathered on Main Street and Boland Way in downtown Springfield around 6 a.m., about to embark on a 106-mile ride across the state. But before they set out on the 10-hour trek, they put their hands on their hearts as the daughter of a Northboro police officer who died in 2009 sang the national anthem. The Ride to Remember, now in its fifth year, is a nonprofit which raises money to honor fallen police officers. This year, the ride was dedicated to Massachusetts State Trooper Thomas Clardy, killed by a motorist on the Mass Pike in 2016, and Auburn police officer Ronald Tarantino, shot and killed in the line of duty in May of 2016. Springfield Police Sergeant John Delaney began the ride after his friend and fellow police officer Kevin Ambrose was murdered in the line of duty June 4, 2012, while responding to a domestic call. Ambrose was credited with saving the lives of a young mother and her baby girl. Kevin was first a husband, a father, a family man, and then he was a cop. And a grandfather. And, and, a grandfather. and he was somebody that if you ever met him, he was all about family. And I can still hear him, and, and, and every time he would see me, how's, your, how's the kids, how's your family? That's all he was concerned about. Kevin's brother, Marty Ambrose, also a Springfield police officer, rides each year. It's quite a tribute to my brother, especially, and, you know, and our family. And uh, it's nice to see the uh, camaraderie, you know, the guys coming out together to support the, uh, the victims of the uh, fallen officers. The Ride to Remember supports one of the charities special to the Ambrose family, Christina's House in Springfield a Christian ministry that provides transitional housing for homeless women and their children. The home has a room named after Kevin Ambrose. They take women who are on their last dime. They got little kids that they can't feed and they take them in, they teach them how to get a job, educate them, and after a year they, they can go on into the community and actually work and, and, and thrive for themselves. Each rider pays a $300 entrance fee. The money also supports the Massachusetts Fallen Officers Memorial located in Boston. This Ride to Remember is like a symbol of what police officers do in their life. Um, it's very hard to understand what a cop goes through through the day in and day out and walk around in our shoes. And they used to say that, you know, only cops, the thin blue line type of type of thing. It's no longer that way. We're, we're part of the community that when you need help, you call us. And it doesn't matter color, creed, race, doesn't, doesn't matter to cops. Some of the proceeds from the ride this year will go towards building a memorial and fixing up these soccer fields here on North Branch Parkway in Springfield next to the Mary Lynch School in honor of Alan Beauregard and Michael Scavina, two Springfield police officers murdered in the line of duty more than 30 years ago. 32 years ago, they were making an arrest on Stebbins Street, and they both got shot and killed in the line of duty. And Alan Beauregard was my training officer. He trained me how to be a cop. And Michael Scavino was a cadet with me and a friend of mine. And I was one of the first officers on the scene that time. Alan Beauregard's widow and children, who are now married with children of their own, helped out at the race. This is so exciting. I mean, I. You just feel so alive and, and to see everybody coming from everywhere from Massachusetts riding this ride uh, to remember our fallen officers and it means so much not to myself but all the survivors and, and for the officers too and uh, in the way of thanking them. It's a big year because my son is doing it this year and uh, just seeing uh, uh, familiar faces from the past. Familiar faces like Dave Yell. So I was on with uh, both Mike Scavina and Alan Beauregard and uh, good friends with John Delaney. So I bumped into John uh, at the Big E one time and he told me about it and uh, I just think it's a tremendous cause. The Ride to Remember also honors Westfield Police Officer Jose Torres. The 27-year veteran was killed in July of 2012 while directing traffic at a construction site. The huge group stays together, escorted by police. Buses and paramedics follow the contingent all the way to the State House in Boston, where the Massachusetts Fallen Officers Memorial is located. Woo! 
The sea of blue attracts quite a crowd in each community they pass through. Retired Springfield Police Sergeant George Collins was on the force for 42 years. He brought his family out to support the cyclists as they rode through Wilbraham. How does this make you feel to have all these people riding? Well, I'll tell you something. It's fantastic. And to, to see him going up that road now is unbelievable, isn't it, huh? According to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, 64 police officers were shot and killed in the line of duty in 2016. And this ride is making sure that people don't forget. Reporting for Connecting Point, I'm Carolee McGrath.